follow me around Denver where I explore all the free things to do in Denver. Let's get started! Let's ride the free bus! It's a free bus that the city offers that goes all the way to the downtown area where all the shopping is and then it goes all the way back to the station. Word. It's really convenient to take it from the Millennium Bridge all the way to the State Capitol building. Riding the free mall ride. Remember to ride those red ones. They have AC in them. And the white ones are older, so it's not as comfortable. Alright, going into the museum. Koku Museum. Like this is already the outside and it looks really strange. And this museum is free and open to the public on Wednesday and Friday from 11 to 5. Let's get inside. Alright. On the fifth floor, it was a little hard to find. It's right across the street from Chipotle. Which that was that was a very good hint. That I got on. So yep. when you come here, make sure to bring an earphone because they have um this is scary. Cell phone tour, right? Huh? This they have a cell, cell phone. phone tour that you can listen in on and the only way to listen in on is that you have brought your own earphone. Just from the outside already, it looks really cool. I'm so excited. This is the cell phone part I was talking about. Right when you walk in, it is already awesome! If that thing moves, I'm so scared. I'm actually glad we came from the I don't know if I scare easily, but in every other room, I'm getting like freaked out. Like, I peeked into that room and that guy scared me. Oh, take a look at him. Alright, he's not as scary as that moving guy. This piece of art feels like it's floating there in time and space. It's also cool that it slowly erodes over time as it's decaying. Alright, got scared again. <sighs> Oh my gosh, he's so scary. Isn't he just scary, guys? Boy. It's scary when you walk through it and you're not expecting to see this guy like that. He's huge. No. You see this creepy hallway? And 
we don't know if the exhibit continues. Are we supposed to walk through this? If somebody comes and yell at us, it wasn't our fault. We don't know what happened. Oh, this is supposed to be a whale skeleton? We do go, right? <laughs> Obviously, that was interesting. Alright, so it looks like we do walk through it because the next part continues. <laughs> Next stop, the convention center. See this big bear I'll be hearing all about. I feel like this is like Santa Monica's third street phenomenon, but much better. This public transportation. This bear is made by Lawrence Argent in 2005, titled I See What You Mean. But everyone calls it the big blue bear. It is 40 feet tall made out of fiberglass. It is meant to be a playful reflection of curiosity as well as connection between the residents of Denver and the visiting attendees and exhibitors who travel to trade shows, conferences, and conventions inside the center. Arjun says he first got the idea when he saw a photo of a local bear that had wandered into the city and was caught looking into a window. Dun, 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 dun. Creepy bear looking into the convention center. Blue bear, blue bear, what do you see? I see a human looking at me. <laughs> All right, bear. Bye, bye, bear. It was really cool. It's worth looking at it. You can actually go inside for free as long as you stay in a certain area. They were really strict. They had like a security guy, lady, watch us. <laughs> the pencil. It's a nice place to walk around and window shop. It's very convenient because the free bus runs up and down the entire length of the mall. Man, that was huge! Walkway. Is it really worth? Yeah. Oh, that's cool.
I will take you to the Denver Mint where they make the money for America but the tour is closed during this time of year it's a free tour but I can't go because it's closed that's one free thing you guys can do when you are here The Colorado State Capitol building sits at exactly one mile above sea level. Tours are available almost every 30 minutes starting at 10 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. Mondays through Fridays only. Tours last about one hour. Our tour guide was awesome. It was nice to learn about the history of the building and also the fun facts about the marbles. Extra perk is you can only go up to the very top of the dome through a tour. Of all the free things I did in Denver, doing the free tour was the most memorable. Oh beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain. We recognize that as a song here in America called America the Beautiful, written by a lady named Catherine Lynn Bates. On her hat, you have an eye, nose, lips, and chin. So a lot of people say, hey, there's George Washington. I've had some people say, nope, I see Alfred Hitchcock. And I had some people say, nope, I see Napoleon Bonaparte. And then this guy, Thanksgiving's approaching, you have a turkey. <laughs> and here, here's the body of the turkey. Back there, there's his feathers, there's his head, his eye, and his beak. Do you see a flying monkey? A star that you see up above us, or some people call it Columbine, a star is 180 feet above us. But don't let that fool you, that is not the top of the bubble dome. Elijah Myers loved to put bubble domes in his capitals, and so ours is no exception. You're only seeing the top. Denver's Capitol building. And the only way to get up here is to get the view of the entire downtown Denver. You can even look so far into the mountains. The only way to get here is by taking the free tour that's given every hour. A mini replica of the Capitol. I just finished the tour. It was really awesome. I learned a lot of unique histories about this building. I never appreciated Marvel until somebody told me about it and that they no longer exist in the building. Wow, I just got to learn and it's free. Free nine hole mini golf course during summer months. Look, it's the Denver Fair. This is awesome. Let's try mini golfing. I haven't played in so long. Oh, my butt is stuck behind a car. <laughs> He's behind that car too. Dun, dun, dun. Take it. 
How am I gonna hit it? It's between his butt. I can't believe it came back. Let's go, Tiger Woods. Miss, 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 miss. Too soft. Ah, move your feet. Bye. This is the Denver skyline. Shoot! Oh. <gasps> oh. That was a cool <gasps> So close! Oh. 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 Tough situation. Shoot! Oh. Wow! Yeah! Holy crap, that was good. Let's see how he's gonna get out of this one. Wait for him on the side. There's Will. I wonder if it moves. Oh, oh it does, it does. Can you, can you all move it? It moves! That is so awesome. All it right. makes it 10 times harder. Oh, we should do it. Um. It's the mini clock tower. And over there is the big clock tower. Oh, why did I put it in the middle? Yeah. Impressive, you bogey that. All right, bub. I expect it to come from here. Watch your feet. <laughs> I didn't touch it. You did touch it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Uh, you want to do over? No. Let's go. Whoa. You did touch it. I saw it bounce off your feet. Wait, what iron number are you? Four. Get it. Five. before then you've basically been to all of them. It's pretty boring process and brewery rooms all look the same. Since it was free thing to do while I drink my beer, why not? Beer is right here. It's a great place to walk around and take pictures. a bridge person like I am due to my brother being an engineer, then you should walk around the park and check out these bridges. Walking around the park is really relaxing. You can even rent a bike for free. It was a nice ending to our trip in Denver. I had lots of fun exploring all the free things in Denver. I know there was a lot more things to do, but I simply ran out of time. Denver is definitely a place I would want to visit again. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below of other free things you've done in Denver. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks to all my Tubi family for all the support. I love you all. I'll vlog you next time. Bye!